Well, good day. Today we're going to make this Pong game. If you want to control the paddles, the one on the left-hand side is controlled by the W and the S keys, and the one on the right-hand side is controlled by the up and the down arrows. If the red ball hits the orange, then player one gets a point. If the ball hits the green, then player two gets a point and the first player to five is going to win. Let's let somebody win here. There you go. So I'm going to show you how to make this game. Let's figure it out. I'll go up to create to create something new. So the first thing I'm do is give it a new name. Maybe I'll just call it Pong Game MC10 or whatever it is. I don't really need a cat so I can delete the cat. Cats don't play Pong. And I'm going to paint a script, a new sprite. I'm going to paint a sprite and I'm going to use this rectangle and make sure it's maybe, I'll choose green maybe. And I'll make it go from the top all the way to the bottom. About like that. And just need a little sliver really. You don't need too much. Make sure your sprite is centered. That looks pretty good. Click on scripts and you can move it over where you want it to be. And that looks pretty good. So I think I'll just duplicate this one. We'll say duplicate and I'm going to put it on this side and I'm going to change the color of it. With the bucket I'll change it orange. It looks pretty good. Now I'm going to make paddles. There will be a paddle on this side. We'll make a new sprite. Choose this. It's a black one. It's about... Paddle might be about this big. Looks pretty good. Put it over here. Let's duplicate this one. And we'll put it over here. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Let's give these sprites names. So this is the left paddle. If you click it, it sort of glows. Can you watch it glow? If you click it. So this is going to be the left paddle. I'm going to identify that. Use this little blue arrow to go back. And let's name this one. Give it a right click. Info. This is the right paddle. Little blue one. Good. Now we want the paddles to move up and down. So I'll go to the left paddle and I want that one to be controlled by the W and the S. So I'm going to say when it's clicked go to where it is. Go to where it is. It's going to start right there. Then forever I want to do two ifs. If you're doing W or if you're doing Fs. So if a key is pressed which key? W. And if a key is pressed, which key? S. If the W is pressed, I want the Y to change. The change is going to be a positive change. W is going to go up. And S is going to go down. So I'll make that a minus 10. I'll slab it, slide them into those forevers. And I think my left paddle might be good. Let's test it out. W goes up, S goes down. That looks great. Let's take this same, stop the game. Let's take the same thing and we'll just copy it onto this one. So I'll just drag it right on there and it'll look like nothing happened. But something did happen. Now the left stuff is still there. Now if I go to the right, it's the same thing. But I don't want the right paddle to start over here on the left hand side. I want it to start where it is. So it says right here it's at 206 and 6. So I'll pull this off and I'll put this one on and the keys for this side is going to be the up arrow and the down arrow so now let's test it out see if our paddles move this one moves this one moves I think we're doing great stop the game let's make the ball so I'll go over here and I want to make a ball I'm gonna make it red Do you remember how to make a perfectly round circle yes you use the shift key don't you you hold down the shift now make sure it's centered for goodness sakes the number one reason your game doesn't work is because you didn't center the ball so that looks pretty good I'll go to scripts this ball is very big so this ball is really really big let's shrink it down 
to something more reasonable and you already know how to shrink things about like that alright let's put in some code for this ball now so we'll start an event first thing I want to do is have the ball start in the middle so I'm gonna make it go to zero zero and I want the ball to point in a direction I don't want it to just keep going straight back and forth I want it to start out at some angle so I'm gonna have it point in some direction maybe 40 degrees or 45 or something like that then let's get this ball to start moving so I'm gonna say forever I want you to move and 10's pretty fast I'll say maybe 7 if it hits the edge I want it to bounce off if it hits the orange I want it to stop and give player one a point but in order to do that I have to set up a point scoring system so I'll go to data and I'm gonna make two variables one for player one points and one for player two points player one is gonna be this paddle and player two is gonna be this paddle so let's make a variable I'll call it player one score and then I'll make another one for player two score to start the game I want player one to have a score of zero and to start the game player two is gonna have a score of zero so if the ball touches the orange that is touching a color which color this color if you're touching the orange then player one should get a point so I'm gonna say change player one by one then I want the ball to stick to stay there for a minute so everybody can notice yes it definitely hit the orange so I'm gonna make it wait one second then I'm gonna make the ball go back to zero zero so that the next one can start so now I'm gonna just do that same thing if it's touching green same sort of things gonna happen so I'll just duplicate that and now I'm gonna have two of them so this one says if you're touching green then player two gets a score we wait and we go to zero now let's see if that works so far the ball is not paying any attention to the paddles but if it gets stuck on this one then it uh, scores a point so that's good now let's do the paddles if you're touching the color black if touching a color which color black color then what I want the ball to do is to turn around I want it to go the other way but not perfectly the other way I could just say I want you to point in the direction of wherever you're going plus 180 180 degrees is the other way around I'm gonna use this funny thing something plus something and I'm gonna say take the direction that you're going right now and add to it 180 and I'm gonna take this green thing and slide it right in there so it says go in the opposite direction and let's let's just see if that works so now it should be bouncing off the paddles pretty good but the bad thing about this is that if you go exactly 180 then nobody ever has to move their paddle because the ball is going to keep going in the same direction all the time with no variation what kind of fun game is this I don't have to move anything so the exact 180 is not a very good idea we gotta get this 180 to change a little bit not exactly 180 so I'm gonna choose a random number something less than 180 might be 160 something a little more than 180 might be 200 so instead of 180 and I'm, this might be off the screen a little bit here let's do this I'm gonna take this random and put it right here instead of the 180 so now if the ball is touching the black it's gonna point in whichever direct directions it's going plus something around 180 but not perfectly 180 so let's try that out and it should bounce in some not exactly 180 at least the paddles now have to keep moving around so that looks pretty good that looks pretty good 
That looks pretty good. Now all we have to do is get it so that if somebody scores maybe five points, then the game will be over. Let me put player one here, and I'll put player two down here. Let's keep score now. So I'm going to say when it's clicked, forever, I'm going to put in two ifs. If player one is won, or if player two has won the game. If player one makes it up to five, then player one's going to win. If player two makes it up to five, then player two's going to win. So I'm going to do this uh, operator of something equals something. If player one equals five. So I'll go to data, player one score. If player one score makes it to five, or on this one, if player two score makes it to five. If player one score makes it to five, then I'm going to make uh, the ball stop moving. I don't want this script to run anymore. So I'll do that stop other scripts business. And I'm going to do that for this one down here too. Stop the other scripts. That is, stop the ball from moving. Then I'm going to say player one wins. So I'll go to looks. And it's not going to say hello. It's going to say player one wins. Player one wins. And if player two gets to five, player two wins. Player two wins. Then I want to stop the whole game. So I'll say stop all. Stop all and stop all. So, oops, got to put it inside. Then two ifs in a row. So I think this is it. Let's give it a try. So it bounces, and there's player scored a point. Now let's just let this guy score five points and see if it wins. So here's player two score. He made it to four, and hey, player two wins. Well, that's about all there is to it.